I know what you're wondering. What's in the canister? I could tell you, but then I'd have to kill you. <laughs> I'm only mucking about. Relax. As for what's in the canister, it's best you don't ask. What about the Geneva Convention, man? Alright everybody, welcome to another episode of Milk and Gaming. Today we're just going to be taking a look at Smoke and how to play him effectively in the game Rainbow Six Siege. So as far as his weapons go, the FMG-9 is an amazing submachine gun. It's one of the only submachine guns that can really go toe-to-toe -to -toe with people from far away, and that's one of the reasons why Smoke is so good when he's roaming, because he can engage people from such great distances as a defender. As a sidearm, his preference is really yours, a submachine gun has a really high rate of fire, um, I typically use it just because I'm only pulling my submachine gun when they're close, and of course, you're always going to want to take Nitro when you're playing a roamer like Smoke. So you can see here the benefits of how you can play Smoke as a roamer. You just run around, you can gun people down like so. But uh, one of the reasons that Smoke is really good uh, above the rest of the other roamers is that he can secure areas really easily on his own. So even if my buddy there... Uh, I can secure this staircase all by myself just by using my charges. So you can see here I'm planting my smoke grenade to cover the bottom there, and then at the top of the staircase to cover the repelling, our enemies walking down the stairs, and lay my nitro. Now from this point I can listen for the enemy and cover both the areas without really putting myself in so much danger, which is really one of the keys when you're playing a roamer because oftentimes your team is not going to be there to watch your back when you're in those kind of situations. And although I don't end up getting the kill with my uh, Nitro Charge here because my teammate happens to run in there and go all Call of Duty on him, I would have been able to as demonstrated there, he's lying dead on the stairs. So I would have been able to take him out pretty easily should he have given me that opportunity. Smoke's ability can also give him a way out of tight situations. As you can see here, I'm pinned down my enemy fire so I can throw out my uh, abilities and create essentially the effect of smoke grenades and though in my run out here I do eventually get killed, but uh, you can see the uh, idea of such a use. Now here we can demonstrate how each smoke can be used so effectively at a great distance. The uh, map that we're playing on here is incredibly large and it gives you a really nice way to cover a lot of space if you have a long range weapon. It gives the attackers a bit of an advantage to some extent, but it can also give you an advantage if you're playing smoke. So you see, I've come from the highest point on the map, the tower, and I'm going to be covering the rooftop because our objective is hidden on uh, one of the floors that can be easily breached via the roof. So I'm up here serving my team by covering this area. Now it seems that I am being flanked here by Blitz or some shielder, so I move down to uh, see where he's at. And uh, the moment he turns the corner, I try to take him out with a quick headshot, but he is not having it. And then he flashes and I miss my nitro. Then I am like panicking, so I'm like, where do I go? And this is where it becomes important to have some map awareness when and uh, know your position. So I throw my uh, smoke to cover me while I go back because he's unlikely to cross over it. And I can sprint across the map to the other side where my team is hiding and where the objective is at. This will allow me to fight again, and uh, of course I will be able to get an assist or get a kill or something up here in a second. You'll notice that I'm waiting for him to come back across because he would probably chase me. And uh, I am going to use the flooring here to hopefully get a kill on the guys on the staircase. And uh, Fuse is really confused, and I totally am able to clean him up and uh, give my team a little bit of an advantage for the next couple of moments in the battle. So to move on to a, an example where I actually use the range in that uh, tower where the enemy breaches in, this time I'm going to stand my ground because the guy is coming in beneath me, it doesn't sound like a shielder who's going to be able to like take me out and I'm able to get a pick on Ash here. And now I'm going to be looking around and what I see is what appears to be glass way the hell over there. So you can see how easy it is for me as uh, Smoke to take little shots off at him down there. And now that I know where he is at, I can move over to try to get a better position on him, since it'll be really hard for me to take him on at this extreme of a range, but I am going to be able to move over and uh, see if I can pick him from the window on the other side. So here I am over there. I hope you guys learned a couple things about how to play smoke in this video. I may not get the kill on him here, but you can uh, kind of understand what the premise is of what we're trying to do when we're roaming as smoke, trying to get those easy picks on people and play our range advantage to the best of our ability. So as always, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, hit that like button. See you around.